Hey guys, how are you? It's Marisa. Good morning. It is about 9 a.m. Tuesday. And today, you see a lot of paint in front of you. So I am <laughs> going to attempt, again, making some Christmas cards for my family. And I had a little idea. Um... So this is a lot of different paint. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. And basically, this is a lot of paint here. It's about 12 different colors uh, from Arteza, the Pouring Acrylics, and also um, the Artist Loft, the uh, Ready Mixed, Pre-Mixed uh, Pouring Paint, okay? Um, yeah, so I'm going to put all those materials in the description below of all the colors I used, okay? But what I want to do is something kind of cool. I am going to do three different paintings. These are five by sevens that I just uh, got delivered to me yesterday. I, I don't know, there's something about the shape that I kind of like. The little five by sevens. So I'm going to do Sterina pores. But what I want to do is they're, these are for very specific people, right? Obviously, because it's my family. <laughs> but, okay, so what I'm going to do is, so one is going to be for my stepdaughter. We're going to name her C, okay? And I'm going to make one for her mom. We're actually very close. Um, we're going to call her G. And my stepdaughter's aunt, their sisters, okay? We're going to name her N, and what I'm going to do is think about just the person themselves and kind of like their style, uh, what colors I would think would be associated with them. And not think too much, but what I want to do is kind of like on the spur of the moment, just think about that person and just kind of like grab colors. Think about the person, but don't think, overthink it, okay? And kind of like on the spur of the moment to see how I'm feeling about them and grab a color that I think would be associated with them. So, you know, my daughter, and I call her my daughter, even though she's my stepdaughter, I hate using that word step. I've known the girl since she was five turning six. It's been almost 19 years. She's my daughter. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so C, okay, she has a very eclectic style. Uh, she can sing her ass off. She, you know, uh, is a hip-hop artist as well. She's incredibly uh, talented, beautiful, young woman, very smart, very hardworking, but she's like incredibly colorful and um, her style is very different. Her mom is hilarious. She, I, I just associate her with bright colors, um, funny, boisterous in a good way, just um, an amazing person. So I'm not, I, I associate her, I associate my stepdaughter with kind of like a mixture of like pastel -y and bright. Her mom, I kind of like feel bright colors for her. And and the aunt, the sister, okay, I she's a little bit more laid back personality. I, I associate her with like softer pastel -y colors. So that's kind of what I am thinking when I'm going into it. At the same time, I want to kind of give a little twist of like random randomness to it. So that's what I'm going to do today. And also, just two quick things. Like I said, um, these are a lot of different colors. Um, I could quickly go over them. We got the Artist Loft, the Metallic White, Turquoise. Um, deep yellow, I know that's aqua green back back there, and I believe that's brilliant red from the Arteza. We're not going to make the same mistakes, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, you know how I screwed up with the little Christmas cards. Um, 
In my last video, I'll link it right here. We're not using any water. And we're not using any pouring medium. They have their own little pouring mediums in there. And I also wanted to see how these two paints mix together. How well they did. And I think they will. Because they're pretty similar. Um, they're pretty similar paints. Except the Artist Loft. I like... The only thing I like about it more than Arteza is that the glossy finish. I love it. I love the finish it gives. It gives it beautiful. I just love it. It has like this like plastic, almost kind of resin-like finish. The Arteza, um, it's glossy but not as glossy. But I think they're going to mix fine together as long as there's no water. Because, and the Artist Loft paint, uh, it just takes better to adding stuff to it so like if you wanted to add a little pouring medium if you did add a little water it doesn't really do much does it ruin it the arteza is definitely more um yeah it's just a, how do you say it? it just doesn't react well to anything added to it so we're not doing that you know i mean i am adding these paints but i don't think it's going to do anything um Harmful to the paint, the painting, or anything. All right, so in there, Tez, we got brilliant red, vermilion red, phthalo green, coral, cerise pink, rose pink, and silver. And I know these are Christmas cards. These aren't necessarily Christmas colors, but I just um, it's it's for you know specific people and um, what the colors I associate with them. All right, so that's what we're doing. And two more quick things. So the painting behind you, I've showed this in another video, just kind of going over the paintings in my house. And yeah, my son loves this painting. Um, this took many hours to make. And this has um, alcohol inks and um, uh, definitely acrylics maybe some gouache as well I may I don't even remember anymore but what I want to start doing because this took many 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 hours because I don't just sit there and like you know um, paint all day anymore I have unfortunately too many other things uh, too much other things to do um, so like I'll sit down for an hour or two and paint, put it to the side and then come back to it. It may not be the next day, you know, so this took a while because of my time constrictions, you know, but I wanted to start doing, um, smaller quote unquote versions of this. So not as, not this small, maybe like, you know, nine by 12, you know, something like that, 12 by 12s. Um, and I have a little tabletop easel that I could use. Um, yeah, so I want to start doing some paintings on here, you know, similar to this. Um, but then, see all those drippy effects? I'm going to add, because that's alcohol ink, but I'm going to add what I've learned uh, doing fluid art, okay? Because this is bef right before... I started just doing fluid art. I want to combine the two, um, you know, my two styles, and uh, see what happens. But just like in a smaller form for now, uh, yeah, because it's going to take way too long. Even if I sped it up 10 times, it'll, you know, the amount of time this takes, it would just be too long for video. Um, so I want to start doing like smaller versions of that. And just kind of adding the two styles and see what happens. Um, I don't want to be confined to just doing fluid art. I miss doing this. Um, yeah, and I just want to show you guys what else I could do as well, you know? And one more thing. I'm, I'm excited. I ordered some <laughs> more paint. Um, I ordered uh, the brand Montmartre. Um, I've never used it before. Recently, I've just heard of it, um, which I love because watching all you guys out there, I not only learn a lot, but I, um, 
you know, learn about different products. Uh, sometimes at different countries. Because on Amazon, they didn't have a huge selection. But that's okay, because I wanted just to try it. Um, and I also saw something on Amazon today. Another pouring acrylic uh, paint that I've never seen before. Uh, God help me, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm going to go broke. Um, but yeah, I got some Montmartre. They said it was pouring acrylics. They're in four ounce bottles, I believe. And they had two different colorways. One was like a coral. And the other were like beachy, um, you know, like summer colors. So I think I got the beachy one. So I think it was like four or five different colors. I believe it was four ounce bottles. And um, I was going to buy all of them, but I'm like, you know what, let me just try it first. So I just got one set. And then I also uh, bought the Montmartre uh, Pouring Medium. So that way I could try it out. I don't know if they're, the paints need it, okay, because they're supposed to be pouring acrylics, like ready to pour, I'm assuming. Um, but I also bought their Pouring Medium because I wanted to try it out. Um, I wanted to try it out first, and then I could do, uh, the battle of the, um, added to my, uh, roster of the battle of the pouring mediums, alright? So, I think that is it for now, and yeah, so let's get started. Um, I just have my little drying station here so I'm just gonna do one at a time so I give myself some room and I'll put them to the side here and at the end I'll show you them all together okay so we got C G and N alrighty it's my daughter her mom I know that sounds weird right and uh, the auntie alright so I will see you in a sec alright guys I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? Well, I can tell you what Christmas is all about. That's not roasting. Like frost nipping at your nose So I'm offering the sample phrase Although it's been said Many times, many ways Merry Christmas Not roasting Like frost nipping at your nose So I'm offering a sample phrase Although it's been said Many times, many ways I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? Well, I can tell you what Christmas is all about. 
that's not roasting. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. So I'm offering the sample phrase. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas. Not roasting Jack Frost nipping at your nose So I'm offering a sample phrase Although it's been said many times, many ways breakfast ooh breakfast of champions huh coffee and <laughs> a uh, peppermint stick uh, these are uh, candy cane dur um, these are actually flavored one flavored ones uh, red hots I love them anyway <laughs> see my little mess okay so let's start over here 
And let's start where we started, which was with my stepdaughters, which is C. So, to be fully transparent, um, I love that word, um, these have shifted around, this is like 10 minutes, and look at her mom's, you see that, it was like this, and it shifted, I have tilted it back to the center several times, um, I love it though, I love these paints together, see, and you could, if it's still fluid, it hasn't fully dried yet you can shift it back to the center a little bit I mean I don't mind that and she's gonna love it um, regardless I know her uh, she's in her my stepdaughter's mom is an artist herself uh, I actually gave her a painting for her birthday and she really loved it so I'm not worried about that um, but yeah I love these two paints together I don't think I ever did this before mixing them together I don't think I have anyway um, but I love them I love these paints together I really do it it they're not really cells but they are it just very cool like weird little lacing going on I don't know I love it so, but as we know, things can dry uh, much differently than uh, what they start out with, okay? Um, acrylics do tend to dry darker, uh, but I did add a little white in all three of them. But these came out really, really, really cool. I love all three of them. This is N. This is the last one I did. That's for Aunt. And honestly, these are like... They remind me of each other person. Um, I love them. Yeah. So I know they're going to enjoy them. But yeah. But as far as the paint is concerned. Um, see it's still shifting around. Especially this one. Maybe I put too much paint. But still it came out gorgeous. I love these colors. I, I mean. This is really gorgeous. Yeah. These two paints together work very very well. Um, as far as like effects and stuff um, there were even though I did torch it there were little to no bubbles whatsoever and that's uh, also a plus with these paints um, yeah these are really pretty and then this one didn't shift around maybe I use less paint um, that happens because it keeps on dripping up the sides um, so yeah, I think I used less paint on this one. I didn't think I would have enough, but I had just enough. Um, yeah, so this one did not shift. Again, we'll see what it looks like after they're dry. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, yeah, because like I said, we all know they could dry much differently than, you know, when you first pour them, they look gorgeous, and then it dries, and... Whoo! You saw what happened in my last video. It wasn't pretty at all. Alrighty. Oh, yes. And I have this, uh, what is it called? Cardstock paper in all different colors. So I am, and when these dry, and hopefully they dry nice, I'm going to, I don't want to flip it, but I'm going to put the paper on the back with some, um, a double sided tape. I don't want to use glue. Okay, I don't want to hot glue the paper to the back. I don't want to ruin the canvas. Um, you know, uh, yes, I don't, you know, stick glue is not cool. It's not going to stay, I don't think, um, very well. So I'm probably going to use, like, double-sided tape um, to, you know, put it on the back. I'm going to put a little messages on the back. And, you know, like, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, maybe a little, like, personal message to each person. And I will show you when that's done. But first of all, I'm going to show you how these dried. Okay, so tomorrow's video, uh, first up. See, look, it keeps on shifting. You little rascal. Okay. I still love it, though. Um, so I'm going to leave it alone. I This is kind of cool. You know, it doesn't have to have the center thing going on. Um, obviously, I put too much paint on this one. Um, but that's all cool. It's, yep, it's still dripping. Uh, I'm going to tip it back. Yep, there we go. Tip it back again. And that's what you can do. See? 
I don't know about problem being solved, but, um, but that's cool. I don't want to lose too much of that cool center thing going on. So that is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a little thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. So I'm on.